It's October. The air is getting colder, it's getting dark earlier, and Halloween's fast approaching, so it's a time of year that everybody appreciates a good scare. This month I want to talk about games that are Halloween themed and, you know, really fit the mood of the season. So today I want to talk about a game that doesn't necessarily fit my inexpensive criteria, but is still a fantastic survival horror game for those of you who crave terror. Today I want to talk about Haunting Ground for the PlayStation 2. Haunting Ground, called Demento in Japan, was developed and published by Capcom for the PlayStation 2 in 2005. You play as 18-year-old Fiona, who wakes up in a cage in the dungeon of Belly Castle after surviving a car accident that killed her parents. As is often the norm in games of this nature, Belly Castle is not the safest or most welcoming place, and although a slightly off-putting maid offers Fiona some fresh clothes, it's up to you to guide Fiona through the castle in search of a way out, and answers to the castle's rapidly deepening mystery. While most survival horror games of the era equipped you with weaponry of some kind, Fiona's pretty much defenseless. As Haunting Ground was developed by some of the team behind the Clock Tower series, the themes of pursuit and evasion carry through here. You won't be up against hordes of monsters, though. You'll be hunted, let's say, by four of the castle's inhabitants, one at a time, starting with the mentally disabled brute Debilitas, who mistakes Fiona for one of his dolls, followed by the maid Daniela, who is very clearly not what she appears to be. I won't spoil the other two, though, as they're tied pretty closely to the plot. Um, excuse me, but where are we? And how did I get here? Yes, Master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Luckily, Fiona isn't alone. Early on, you meet Huey, a white German shepherd that Fiona frees from being tied up outside. Huey is your companion from then on and can be commanded by using the right analog stick. He can be commanded to attack your pursuer, buying you time to escape and hide. However, he is a dog, so he'll need to be trained properly throughout the game. Scold him when he doesn't obey, and give him plenty of nice pats to keep him obedient. Good boy! Huey can't permanently keep your pursuer away from you though, so you'll need to hide. You can duck away in places like closets or under beds, but if you hide in the same places too often, they'll know where to look for you. Also, don't always trust the Coast Clear message. While there aren't other enemies per se, there are two other things to watch out for. Luminescence and Homunculi. Both will cause Fiona to panic, which, as you can probably guess, is a bad thing. When Fiona starts to panic, the screen will get progressively more distorted and she begins to run uncontrollably. You can't stop her from running, but you can try to steer her, but if she runs into anything, she'll fall and begin to crawl. The fear the game causes from being chased through the castle is bad enough, but when the music starts getting louder and more abrasive, the screen is unintelligible, and Fiona is screaming and running out of control, it gets legitimately terrifying. Yeah. 
And that's what makes Haunting Ground so scary. You're helpless. You're not playing as a rookie cop or a guy with a lead pipe. You're a young girl with only her dog to protect her. The sense of dread and fear that the game makes is very real. It's not an easy game to play. The game is designed to make you uncomfortable, as any good horror game should. The game relies on psychological tricks to keep you scared rather than jump scares or an endless supply of enemies, but that doesn't mean they pull any punches with the gore. Several cutscenes are pretty gruesome, and that's to say nothing of the game over sequences. The one that plays when Debilitas gets you is legitimately so disturbing with what it implies I'm not going to include it here, but Daniela's is pretty bad too. <laughs> The game's graphics and sound design create a brilliant setting and only amplify the horror. Belly Castle is a dark, uninviting labyrinth of Italian-inspired architecture. The castle itself almost feels alive, like an enemy. It's always watching you. The sound is simply phenomenal. No one can argue that Akira Yamaoka is the king of survival horror soundtracks, but Seiko Kibuchi and Shinya Okada give him a run for his money here. The music is uncomfortably pleasant in times of peace and appropriately jarring when danger is nearby. It keeps you on your toes throughout, kicking your pulse into high gear when appropriate, and calming you down when you need it. The game features many cutscenes as the story progresses, and they're wonderfully done. The facial animation is impressive, especially when you remember that this is a PlayStation 2 game, and it really gives the character's performances a boost. Subtle facial movements convey tons of emotion and really pull you into the story. <sighs> The story, of course, is a big part of the game, and it's really good. I don't want to talk too much about it and spoil the good stuff, but learning about why Fiona is in Belly Castle and why her pursuers are after her will keep you playing long after every ounce of your common sense is screaming at you to turn the game off so you can breathe. There's still some fun to be had, though, as Haunting Ground carries on the survival horror tradition of silly bonuses once you finish the game. There are several outfits that can be unlocked, most of which showcase Fiona's more notable assets. You can even change what kind of dog Huey is, including a big ol' stuffed toy. The best part is that these costumes show up in the cutscenes, giving them an entirely new context. Now, the whole point of the show is to talk about games that are inexpensive and easy to find, and Haunting Ground isn't exactly cheap. It's gonna run you about $40 to $60, so about the same price as a modern game, but it's definitely worth it when you consider that the survival horror genre is all but extinct and in favor of action titles. Haunting Ground is a standout title in a sorely missed genre, and is definitely worth looking into if you're a fan of survival horror. Shut off the lights, crank up the sound, and get ready to immerse yourself in a very intense experience.